welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a very special episode of Death Battle, the season finale. Our combatants today are Annoying Orange versus Barack Obama. Let's get to it. Let's go back in time, around a decade. Back then, YouTube was in its baby steps, nobody was making money off the platform, and everyone was just making gaming videos. And the most popular guy back then was... him. And then, out of nowhere, came basically the messiah of YouTube, the Annoying Orange. Now, what is the Annoying Orange? It's an orange, you fucking dumbass. But a special orange. An orange which has uploaded 5,000 videos. However, uploading daily isn't the only thing he's good at. The Annoying Orange has done a lot of things in his videos, and he has gained a lot of powers and weapons over that time. Like a big gun, he can spit seeds, change his size, and teleport. He can also summon his favourite weapon, which is a big ass hand with a knife. Finish him! Okay, okay! Knife! I can't believe I'm saying this! Orange wins! Another one of his weapons is his hot sauce. After drinking some, he can spew fire from his mouth and fly fast enough to cause a mass extinction event. In Loin Orange has many ridiculous feats. He has survived his house exploding practically every single day. He was able to drop a trillion bowling balls on pair, and he casually defeated a monster the size of a skyscraper. In Loin Orange also survived a continental size explosion and he was able to destroy the moon with his cannon. However, all of his feats are in his base form. He can also go to his Super Saiyan, Orange Saiyan form, whatever, where he becomes ridiculous. His seed spitting becomes plasma for some reason, and after going Super Saiyan, he was casually able to destroy Radish, even though his base attacks before this did absolutely nothing to him. Annoying Orange also caused a bunch of mass extinction events. However, despite all these forms and weapons, his most powerful ability is the fact that he's very fucking annoying, and because of that, he wins. Basically, any time he's against someone, his opponents just give up. That's how annoying he is. Him being super annoying is actually one of his biggest weaknesses, though, because he can't focus on fighting his enemies. But if they all give up, there's no real reason to fight them. Anyway, this little kitchen fruit is um pretty overpowered. Hey, hey, Titanic! Titanic, hey! What? Iceberg. <laughs> Let's go back in time again, this time two decades. The world's worst terrorist attack has been committed by none other than Osama bin Laden. After such a devastating attack, this super evil man escaped back to the Middle East. However, he didn't hide there forever. He eventually had to change his name by one letter and go back to America under a new identity, Barack Obama. Barack Obama is pretty impressive. Physically, he already has an advantage against most people, via being over 6 foot tall and have an American and Kenyan physiology. The former president is, of course, a politician, meaning he's pretty damn rich, and he has military support on him at all times. But this isn't even scraping the barrel of what he can do. First up, Obama is not a human, he's a humanoid reptilian. A fourth dimensional alien whose goal is to gain the trust of humanity and then manipulate them into taking over the world. Being a lizard man comes with a lot of advantages, like the fact he can regenerate limbs, camouflage himself, extend his tongue, and have a venomous bite. Him being a reptilian also gives him mind control. His mind control spreads over the entire world as long as he gets the trust of enough people. This plan, of course, failed, but he can still mind control individuals. He can also mind control people indirectly without even having to look at them. There are multiple methods he does this. The most common one right now is the COVID-19 vaccine, which implants a microchip in your brain and makes you a mindless zombie slave to Bill Gates. However, Obama isn't just a reptilian, he's also a demon from hell working with Satan, he's a cyborg, he's a time traveller who worked with Hitler, he's also part of the Illuminati. Obama is many things, and of those many things, come many feats. Even in his base form, he can kick down doors with absolute ease. With some prep time, he did make a city level block explosion. And being a politician, he can divide countries just by speaking. He's also an outer dimensional Lovecraftian beast, 
his true form is actually a giant monster, and he is Cthulhu's 55th inbred cousin, whose goal is to jizz on all the dimensions. After activating his true form, Obama's mere presence can destroy the world. His most powerful technique is the N-word pass. The N-word allows him to completely obliterate his enemies, and his target is only safe if they're a person of colour. If you try to interfere, I will kill your wife. I will kill your son. I will kill your infant daughter. Alright, I've analysed the combatants, and now it's time for the season 1 finale of Death Battle. President Barack Obama. Broccoli? Huh, you want your looking vegetable? <laughs> uh, I said, my name is Barack Obama, not broccoli. Hey, hey, broccoli, if you're a piece of broccoli, why are you brown? Are you running some. Ow! Uh, knowing Orange, a video of yours contains secret government data. Delete that video now, or we will be forced to mute you for 24 hours. Oh, so you wanna go that way, Broccoli? Come at me, I'll take you down all by myself. <laughs> Fuck! Target is dangerous and resisting. Move to Plan B. God bless America. So fast, Barry and Balmer. All right now, so let me be clear. <laughs> there it is. I knew it would come in handy. as I can be, and that must not <laughs> Yo mama's so fat, she's bigger than an Argentine <laughs> Hey Obama, hey, hey Obama, hey Obama WHAT?! Knife <laughs> Gee, Barry the Golfer, you're uglier than I thought. Hold on. <laughs> All right. I need to go back to the kitchen and record an orange game movie. Let's end this. Knife. This charade is over. I'm gonna say the N word. Hold on a second. Gironki is a family friendly channel. You can't do that. Yes, I can. You stupid fucking Nigeria. <laughs> what an amazing battle that was. The Noyan Orange was a ferocious opponent. He had tons of different techniques and could keep Obama on his toes. However, Obama just has so much bullshit that Annoying Orange really couldn't stand a chance. First of all, comparing the feet side by side, Obama is faster and stronger. Annoying Orange did survive a continental sized explosion and he was able to destroy the moon over time. Obama simply transforming destroys the planet and Annoying Orange didn't have any sort of hacks to make up for that advantage. Obama has so many conspiracy theories. 
that theoretically if Orange killed his reptilian form, he could just transform into his Cthulhu Lovecraftian form. And if that form died, he can transform into his cyborg. He can just keep regenerating really. Orange also had no counter to the end of the pass. He may be orange, but so is Donald Trump. And Donald Trump is considered white, meaning annoying orange could be affected by the end of the pass. And once he gets hit with that, he gets completely removed from existence. There's nothing he can do to Obama's constant regeneration and just overall way bigger arsenal. Sorry annoying orange fanboys, but this was pretty clear cut. The winner is Barack Obama. Na 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 na